following on from the previous video, we got to this stage here. We got to um, we got to this stage here. Now we're going to look at this. So we're going to take the limit as t heads towards negative one from the right hand side. So what that means is, imagine you're here, you're heading towards negative one from the right hand side. So uh, so so imagine you're just to the right of negative one. So imagine negative naught point, a number just to the right of negative one. So imagine this number here, and then when you put it into here, uh, because we are trying to investigate what happens in the x movement direction. So when you put this thing into here, um, well, so you've got a number that's just smaller than one. So when you cube it, it's going to be a number smaller than 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 one. So uh, so when you cube this, the denominator will be so it will be one uh, take away a number just to um, just to the uh, just smaller than one. So uh, so this whole thing here will be will be. Uh, would be a very very small number, not point, no, 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 I don't know, seven three say, I don't know what, but it, it would be if you get one, take away a number that's slightly smaller than negative one, and then you cube it and so on. The whole the whole denominator would be something of this form, and then when you put this into here, um, this thing, remember we've got one minus here, so the it's going to be minus, I don't know what, but merge these three together, I don't know what, I'm just going to imagine that's 0 point, uh, 0 0.039, whatever. So you've, you've, got a, um, you've got a definite number here divided by a very, very small number. So the whole thing here will be very, very big. It will be very big, but then you've got a negative here. So it'd be negative, very, very big. The point is that as t heads towards negative infinity, this thing here, the x direction, the x direction would head towards negative infinity so what that means is if you're here and then you move towards negative one it, it would mean this hang on so if you're if you're here it would mean you've been somewhere around here and then as t heads towards negative infinity the the x direction will move towards negative infinity so you're moving to the left all the time you're moving to the left all the town time that means you are heading um in in this direction on, so, so this thing here, this thing here, this this thing here is telling you that in the x direction you're always moving to the left. Well, you always moving to the left can only mean one thing. It's, it means that you are moving to the left. So, this, so you must be traveling along this path. Okay. So, so now let's look at what happens when uh, when you're let's say you're here, uh, and then you head towards towards zero. So as you head towards, so take the limit as uh, as t heads towards zero. So this thing here, as t heads towards zero from both direction, from both directions, because um, because there's no minus or plus here. There's no minus and there's no plus. So uh, so this this thing here is heading towards zero from the left and from the right. So as you head towards uh, zero, um, let's put zero into here. Nothing really breaks down. So this this thing here will be something over one and then this thing here is going to head towards zero the whole thing will head towards zero so as you head towards zero um as t as as t head towards zero um it will head towards the origin uh it, it will head towards well well the in the x direction it will head towards towards zero so that means um well it could mean this or it could mean this as well because you're he you're in the x direction you're heading towards zero but as it turns out it, it moves it moves like this hang on as if it turns out the particle will move like this if you're traveling from negative infinity to uh, to positive infinity um, so so let, let me illustrate it to you hang on so you're 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 currently here like this so it will move like this hang on so it will move like this one more time okay so hang on so, so by looking at the limits, you can actually see the movement of the particle. Um, so let's look what happens when when t uh, when t heads towards positive infinity. So imagine you're here and t is heading towards positive infinity. So let's look what happens in the in the x movement direction. So uh, so when you put t to be very very big, let's imagine this to be nine 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 here. If you put this into here. Oh, wait there, wait there. As you head towards infinity, um, the denominator, if you look at, as you head towards infinity, you've got one thing plus 
another thing. Well, this thing here is going to be so small and irrelevant. So as, X, as t heads towards infinity, the denominator, you, you can just consider the de denominator as t to the power of 3. Uh, because you adding 1 is going to be insignificant. And then, uh, and then as it gets bigger and bigger, um, as t heads towards infinity, this is a constant, this is a constant. Well, well, it's going to act like this. It's going to act like this. And then cancel out the t. So this will be squared. So as t heads towards infinity, this is going to be a definite number. This, the denominator will just get bigger and bigger and bigger, meaning the overall thing will be zero. So as as you as you head towards as t heads towards infinity, as t heads towards infinity, the particle is actually heading towards zero. It's, at, it's heading towards zero. It won't go beyond beyond zero. It, it just head towards zero. I hope it makes sense. I, I didn't explain it too well. Okay.